Hey there, Titans. So this is actually a little bit of a re-upload, um, and this is the new Alien Purple paint scheme and a couple of new extra pieces that I've added to the Etsy shop. Uh, this is a re-upload because I'm really trying to practice smoother camera work. And I wasn't really happy with the last video, so I'm going to delete that one and put this one up. Uh, so if you're watching this for the first time, the other one was really crappy. Uh, that's my fault, and I'm trying to get better at this. Um, so, you know, shaky hand. Um, but let's go over this a little bit, though. Uh, so first thing to go over is that this is a new paint scheme that I'm adding to the Etsy Shop's Basics 40K line. And it's kind of this blasted alien wasteland. Now, originally it wasn't going to be designed to be this purple. It was going to be more red undertones. But, you know, um, that's kind of how it goes sometimes when you're, uh, when you're kind of getting creative with some stuff. So, uh, there is red undertones in this, but it is a very heavy purple base. So let's take a look closer at these. I apologize for the handshakes. Just gonna get to a point where I can show you guys. So to give you an idea of the overall paint scheme, because this is repeated among all the pieces, uh, everything is given a purple base, uh, and then afterwards we do a red, well, not we, I, um, I do a red overspray, and I'm using some new sprays that I've picked up lately. Then once I do that, I do a black wash on the ground. Let's kind of zoom in here. And that makes the ground just different enough to be able to diversify between the groundwork and the actual like buildings. Um, it's still subtle, uh, but it is, you know, it is a noticeable difference when you're playing on the battlefield. Then you apply some uh, dry brushes, and the biggest thing that's different from this compared to my other ones is you've got these areas that kind of are a little darker, where I've gone through with some black paint, and I've just kind of blackened them up a little bit. You know, made them look a little blasted, make them look a little, a little darker, a little, a little tinged. Also, it breaks up the monotony of the piece quite a bit. So we're just going to kind of pan through here a little with, you know, very heavy emphasis on making sure I'm giving you guys a good look at the, the pieces and not just shakily going all over the place. But let's actually, give me one second, I'm going to actually grab my Primaris Marine, Mr. Flesh Terror. So this is Bob, Bob the Flesh Terror. This was a paint scheme for a, um, for a painting lesson I did last year. So I just use him in general for anything that I want to show off, like scale. So these are just the normal basic 40K ruins, just with new paint scheme. But you're probably wondering, is like, what are all these? These are my new bridges and walkways pieces. Uh, these are kind of an answer to 8th edition um, with how the movement rules have changed during terrain. And also because you now have kill team and walkways are just super cool. And I just wanted to build something that could be added to this. And, you know, to be entirely honest with you, it really does finish off the set. Um, the bridges and walkways really is like the last hurrah of things that I thought was missing from this set. And what's really cool about them is they do come in various uh, sizes. There are four different um, walkways. Or stairwells, if you want to call them. But basically, you've got this one. And to give you an idea of scale, each one of them can fit very easily models on it. Now, these are more towards infantry. If you try to do a dreadnought or anything bigger, you're going to have a harder time. But they're also supposed to be walkways for, you know, infantry to go up on. And let's take a look. See here. You can see that he sits right there. Now, these are foam. So... They, you know, they, they're lightweight, they do move around a little bit, but not too much. But for a basic level set, it's not bad. So you put that right there. And you can line them up however you want. What I really like is, this angle looks a little steep, but because you have the grit here, unless you're using metal models or just really top heavy metal or anything that's just really top heavy, as long as your base has some sort of weights in it, you can use pennies, you can use anything. Uh, but even if not, you know, I mean, just regular Primaris Marine, you know, plastic Primaris Marine. He's sitting there, no problem. 
he's not top one over. Now, that lets you get to the, the top floor as well, which is really nice. And then you can see over here, you don't have to hook them to buildings. You can actually just create a neat bridge. And these bridges are also built with quite a bit of space underneath them, as you can see. So you got plenty of room to get your hands in there, which can be a problem with these types of uh, sets. So let's take a look over here. And all of the little stairwells are generally the same shape. You know, they're four, four stories, or four steps, if you want to call it. But they're all a little bit different. Like this one has a little, little space that you could stick some guys through right there. And then we come over here. And you can see this one, the, uh, instead of just going you know, straight up traditionally, it goes a little over and then a little up. You know, it makes it interesting. And then this one has kind of a little bigger area that's held up by a column, column right there. And yeah. Now, here is an interesting thing I did up here. All of the uh, top platforms are the same size, and they're built to accommodate either the, the regular-sized infantry-sized walkway or the bigger walkway. And let me grab the model right here and show you. This one, this one you could fit Dreadnoughts on. You could fit a Dreadnought in there, you could fit a Demon Prince, you could fit, you know, a, a lot of dudes in there. So, yeah, um, that is uh, some of the newest additions that I've added to the 40k runs. I do also have uh, some other pieces that I'm going to do, and I'm going to do those in a separate video. I had had them combined before, but it just, I didn't like how it turned out. So, I'm going to upload that as a separate video. Uh, it's the same paint scheme. Um, but it is a set of craters, uh, also rock spires, and some uh, hills. And those can be intermixed with this, like to, you know, let me just show you for a quick second. I'll move that out of the way, and I'll just grab one of these craters. But yeah. So this is an example of one of the craters I'm talking about. And we'll just grab this dude and kind of set him right there scale. This is actually a GW Crater um, footprint as well. But those will be combinable with this, but it is honestly, this table is packed even without that crater. Um, this this is already like more than you would need to play regular games of 40k. This is honestly um, just what you've got here has an insane amount of replay value. So let's do a little pan right there just give you a look from this side yeah that's a lot of replay value right there uh you can get this on the etsy shop uh link is down in the notes below uh thanks for watching and also make sure to check out all of my social media my instagram uh, my facebook and all that wonderful jazz uh, and i will catch you later